Dan Johnson talking to Sam Watrous, who's going to say, now you've got an engine on an airplane. Let's talk airplanes first, sure. and then we'll come back to engines. So sure. what do we got it on here first? Sure. This is a 1996 vintage uh, Fisher Aerocorp Avenger V. But the V was for full VW. Ah, so it's okay. got an upgraded spar, it's got an upgraded fuselage to handle the extra weight. Okay, and and you've got a little larger engine than it may have Ooh, originally yeah. intended, <laughs> so it was good that you chose one that can accommodate that. Did right. you have to do anything more to put your engine on the front of this airplane? That well, structurally I had to, or whatnot? Structurally, no, because I had already beefed up the firewall uh, when I did my original Avenger V. Okay. From what the plans had, I put some steel gussets right on the longerons. They're triangulated gussets. They're probably six inches long, mild steel. Okay. So I just beefed it up. As the motor mount. Right. Okay. And, and that worked out great. And then uh, the firewall was, was already sufficient because of the full uh, right. VW engine that right. it had on it, which right. produces well, it was full 65. VW. 65 the horsepower out of that? Yeah, I had the great planes, okay. 1835. Said, but how many sure. horsepower is this? This is 83 horsepower. 83. So you're stepping it up quite well, a bit. Yeah. Did that? Yep cause you any concerns or problems to add that much power it, versus what it originally had? Well, actually, yes. So, this is too much engine for this airplane. And I'm, I'm only on it, it's only on here temporarily. Oh, I see, okay. It's a test So this is me. kind of a show piece and a test bed for you. Right, I'm, okay. I'm doing scale birds, so it's a, it's a different prototype that this one's going on. You've got some other airplanes that are now using the Werner engine in the light aircraft space, is that Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about some of the others. Okay, so Werner makes a whole family of engines and we've got a three-cylinder engine and that's going on the Legal Eagles. Ah, three-cylinder. Here we got a five, right? Right, this yep. is the big five. Okay. There's also a smaller five that would be ideal okay. for something like the ah, Avenger. I see. Okay. So you could have a five on here, just a smaller version. Yes. Okay, but also a three for the really light guys, huh? Right. And what everybody loves is the torque that the radial produces. So the Legal Eagle guys are just going nuts for these. Yeah, they're not about going fast. Right. And if you want to get off the ground or climb, that's where torque oh, comes into the picture. Am I right about that's that? That's right. Okay. Horsepower gets you down the road, torque gets, gets you, you in the air. Got that's it. right. Okay. Well, let's shift back then. Any other aircraft you want to mention that are oh, using the, in the light space? Certainly. Certainly. Okay. So we've Please got do. the nine cylinder. There's seven cylinders, nine cylinders. We have a nine cylinder flying in Florida right now on an air show replica. Okay. And he's loving it. It's a strong, strong beast of a motor. Uh, we have uh, kit foxes that are putting them on. And over in Europe, there's multitudes of biplanes and kit fox type aircraft, kibitzes and, and racic aircraft and stuff that, that are flying with them. And here, we're just getting started in the States, but we have uh, a lot of installations coming on. Sockwith Camel, full scale, Newport 12, so the World War I replicas. We got the Hats uh, classic biplanes. We've got two of those, nine sold for those, and, and probably a lot more at this show coming for sales. Uh, there's just, they're, they're fitting a niche that hasn't really been fully filled yet. Well, the Werner engine, uh, now you mentioned there's a lot of activity in Europe, and that's because this engine comes from comes Europe. Comes from so Eastern Europe. So where does it Europe. come from? Czech Republic. Okay. And Werner's been around a long time, I believe. Right. I believe, uh, if my memory is correct, it's 1998 is when they started making a Volkswagen conversion. Okay. So they got a lot of history behind them already. For those folks that don't understand it, and I'm one of them, Radial engines always use an odd number of cylinders? Yes, sir. And why is that? Why is that? It's because they're trying to get all the cylinders fired in two revolutions. Ah, I see. Okay. And, and the way they do that is with a master rod. So that's... So it's firing uh, cylinder one first, then it skips a cylinder and it fires to the next one. Okay. And then... So then the last one on that first rev is here, and it's going to jump to the next. And so it's sort of all the way around. So one, three, five, two, four. One, three, five, two, four. One, okay. three, five, two, four. Radials go way back in time. They make a great aircraft engine because you're always turning that, that firing order is always in the same direction. You're not reversing like you do on a horizontally opposed engine, right? And it just helps build the torque that way. That's why they stay light. The crankshaft stays very short. The engine produces like the thrust of a 100 horse engine. It's only 83, but 
it uh, weighs 152 pounds. Is that right? Okay, that's quite light. All right, let's talk for a sure. moment since you talked about light weights. Let's go back to the three-cylinder and yeah. the legal eagle. The oh three-cylinder must be very light then. It's very light. It's 86 pounds with the starter. With the starter. Wow. That's and, the same and how as much a power again. 42 okay. horsepower 42 takeoff. Horse. Okay. Uh, 34 continuous. Okay. And that's On that at, airplane, that's all the power they need. That and especially right. since you're getting and, that initial boost. Then. And then it, it turns a really big prop, so the thrust is more like a 55 horse engine. Ah, okay. That's why they're loving it. They're getting a lot of climb out of these legal eagles. And and uh, the 60 horse engine, you know, it acts like a 70, 75 horse engine. So again, tell me a little more about, oh, I don't know, things like maintenance of a uh, you know, you take this to most mechanics, they're going to go, I don't know, I don't know anything about that. Or so do they say that? Do they feel comfortable no, with it? No, they all feel very comfortable do with they? this because this is uh, easy to take the valve covers off and do a valve adjustment, which is kind of like the most maintenance you really have to do. Uh, oil changes are real simple with Werner. They've decided to put the oil uh, filter on the front where the okay. oil pump is. Uh huh. Um, and that's basically it. Your well, air filter is you in can your also counter. get at everything too. You I mean, one of the instead right. of having all the soldiers all packed together and you can't even get in there. Right. Uh, so I guess the, the I worst guess case it doesn't is if easy. I had a cowling, I might have to take a cowling off. Yeah. But, right. But uh, well, a lot I would of guess guys some of the appeal of this is to have it not be cowling. That's People right. People go to a lot of trouble to get the engine hidden away. Right. I guess I get that too. But in this case, you kind of want to celebrate this engine. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We we get a lot of people just. Wow, you know, they love to see this. <laughs> well, so and they love to three, hear three, five, seven, and, and nine, nine cylinder, cylinder engines. engines. The whole range of engines. Tell me the power of each of those again. You just sure. did the first two, but let's sure. go ahead and review so them it's, all. It's uh, 42 horsepower takeoff on the three. Okay. It's 60 horsepower on the smaller five. It's 83 oh, you horse. Got, you got two of the fives then, okay. Yeah, we got 83 horse five cylinder. We got 124 horse seven cylinder. And then 158 horse, nine cylinder. Okay, well, you got a wide range of engines you can offer to people. Yes, sir. And uh, we definitely don't want to do specific prices, but how do they price compare with uh, uh, Rotax, uh, Continental, those kinds of engines that are commonly used in this space here? Okay, when it's when you're talking new engines, it's very comparable. So, like our uh, the 40 the 42 horse three cylinder, it's going to come in right around seventy five hundred dollars. Okay. It's a pretty modest um, price for that engine, I would say. Right. We are, and, and four stroke, obviously. I yeah, mean, that goes without saying, I suppose, but we stroke. need to say it. The 60 horse is uh, right around $10,000, 9500 Okay. Um, the This engine here is right around fifteen. The seven's right around twenty, And the the nine cylinder, 158 is right around 27 Okay, let's talk about now. Somebody says, sign me up. I like the engine. I want one of those engines we just described sure uh, I would think they would quickly follow up with and what's the warranty going to be and how's the service how do you handle overhauls things of that nature walk sure. us through a little bit of that starting off with the uh, the, the uh, time between overhaul okay so the time between overhauls on the two smaller engines the small five and three is 600 hours at, okay. at the moment uh, the, all the other larger engines their, their TBO is a thousand hours they're being very conservative uh, the highest time engine right now is a seven cylinder with seven over 700 hours on it. Okay. And they're very comfortable. They can get that much higher, like 1500 plus. So if somebody says, uh, we get to that point and they say, I need service on it. How do they handle that? Well, you can come to us. We're, uh, there's two dealers in the United States right now. Uh, and we're full service dealers. We've been over to the factory and check. We've been trained on working okay. on them. Good. And uh, we're very comfortable with doing that. So it's and where are those places located, Sam? Okay, so I'm located in Connecticut. Okay. So I'm Scale Birds with Connecticut. Uh, Performance Propellers is also a dealer, full service dealer in uh, the Dallas area. Uh, what should somebody expect about just routine maintenance, though? Before the long before the overhaul comes into picture. Sure. Uh, routine maintenance on this engine. Is there differences from a standard type engine? No, because mostly what you're dealing with is valve. Uh, checking your valves, you know, you might have to do a little valve adjustment from time to time. But it's electronic ignition, you're oh. not going to have to oh, mess with okay. magnetos. All right. uh, it's electronic fuel injection, so you're really not going to have to adjust too much. Uh, if you change props, you might have to adjust the fuel map. Okay. Uh, and we train people how and to do that. And you've got information about yep. that, okay. It's all done on a laptop. Or on the smaller engines, it's carburetor, and you just change your needle or whatever. 
So it's it's an old looking engine, but it's sure. actually quite a modern engine. Yes, they've, a, they've 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 tried to stay with a classic radial design. All the internal components are made exactly the way you would with an old Wright engine or a Jacobs or whatever. But they try to stay modern and 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 use some modern stuff with the electronic ignition, built-in alternator, uh, fuel injection, you know. Uh, the ignition systems, a single coil for every spark plug and separate circuits. So separate it's very circuits redundant. redundant. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, so looks old, is new, modern materials even, yes, magnesium sir. and so forth. Uh, sounds like a pretty good package. I've asked you a lot of questions, Sam. It's all right. People always have another one. Yes, they or do. maybe they just want to order or find out what aircraft you can support. How do they find you on the web? Okay, we're at scalebirds.com. That's S-C-A-L-E. B-I-R-D-S dot com. Very good, Sam. We'll keep an eye on what Sam is doing in the space he's operating in. Lots more of affordable aviation environment on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Sam and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh.